everybody. I hope you all are having a great day and I hope you can hear me. We're having lots of um, work done around us so trying to get heater fix and some road work outside so um, I will try to be a little bit louder even though I am in the library. So today on Check It Out I'm going to talk to you about getting a library card. Um, it is super simple, super easy, um, especially if you live in Ottawa County, because if you live in Ottawa County, it is free. So, Ottawa County is Afton, Cardin, Commerce, Fairland, Miami, North Miami, Pitcher, Quapaw, and Wyandotte. There's a few addresses in those towns and in some surrounding towns that aren't Ottawa County and that are Ottawa County, so... Um, we can just get that all figured out for you because we're librarians, so we can figure it out. So, um, it's free for those of you in Ottawa County. If you don't live in Ottawa County, um, it is $5 a year, still a super cheap price. Um, so to start with, to get a library card, if you are 17 and under, you do have to have a parent with you. Um, your, par your parent will... They will come in and they will fill out this little yellow card that will give us um, some information about you and will give you permission to use the internet and the computers so we can get that straightened out. They will need um, an ID with the correct address on it and if you're 18 and over you will need an ID with the correct, correct address on it to get a card um, if you don't have a correct address on it that's not a problem either. There's a few different things we can do. Um, if you can bring in a utility bill, sometimes that's kind of hard if you're 18 and still living at home, um, or a rental agreement if you're not living at home, or for adults, either way, um, the utility bill has to be within uh, 30 days, so we know that you're still living there. Um, so that proof of address will help um, get your library card. If you don't have any of that, something else we can do is we can get you a temporary card. So you can um, fill out a postcard with your address and we will mail it to you. And then when you get it, you bring it back in and that will be your proof of address. So that is definitely super simple. Not too hard. We'll get all the information from your ID. We'll fill it in on the computer and we get your picture. That way we know it's you using your card. doesn't take very long at all super simple. Here's what the postcard looks like. So we would just fill it out to you, have it addressed to you, and we'll send it to you, and then you bring it back in. And then we know that that's your um, address. Um, here's what our library cards look like. It has the library on it. You will sign right here, print right here, and then I'll have an expiration date. All library cards for people in Ottawa County are good for three years. So when three years is up, you come in and we just make sure all your information is still correct. Make sure you still have your card. If you lose your card, it is a $2 replacement fee. Um, we will get your, all your stuff up to date and then we'll re, um, instate it for three more years. So super simple. The cards for outside of Ottawa County are $5 a year. So they're good for one year. When it expires, you come in and pay your $5 again, and then it'll be good to go. Um, so there's lots of things you can do with your card. Of course, check out books. You have to have your card every time you check out books. Um, we can't just look up your ID or anything. We have to use your library card. So keep it handy. Keep it in your wallet. You don't want to lose it. Um, and like I said, if you do lose it, it's $2 to replace it, which isn't too expensive. Um, also, you can use your card to access our digital resources online, which I'll show you more about those in depth um, here in a week or two. Um, and you'll use your patron ID, which is this P letter, and then these numbers as your patron ID to log in, and then your phone number, all 10 digits, so the area code and then the rest of your phone number, no spaces or dashes or anything, as your password. So when you go to our website, you can see all the digital resources. Um, you can get um, ebooks and audiobooks, and that's how you'll log into it to get those. 
Um, you can also use your library card to come in and use the computers. And it'll be the same thing. Patron ID. And then your phone number will be your password. Um, and for the Wi-Fi, same thing. If you want to bring in your own device, uh, we've got plenty of places that you can set. And socially dis social distance. And you'll use your patron ID. This number right here. Super easy. And your phone number, all 10 digits, will be your password. Um, when you get... Your library card will kind of let you know where everything is, where the book drop is, how long you can check books out. Um, you don't have a limit on books you can check out except for if you do have the temporary card, if you're waiting for your postcard for your proof of address, uh, there will be a limit. And movies, the limit is four movies per household. So other than that, books are unlimited. You'll get this little brochure that's got our hours. But these hours right now are not correct. Um, these are our before COVID hours. And now we have after COVID hours. So they've changed a little bit. And we can fill you in on that. We keep them posted on the door. We keep them posted on uh, Facebook and on the website. So when they change, um, we'll update all that and let you all know. But it's got all our, all our policies, stuff about signs in it, our phone number, and just all the different things that we offer. And you'll receive that when you get the library card. So super simple. It may sound kind of a little more complicated because I'm trying to talk to you about it and talk about all the what ifs and everything. But especially if you have your ID with the correct ad address on it or your parents in here with you with their ID with the correct address on it. It is super easy. Um, free for Ottawa County residents for the first card. $5 if you're outside of Ottawa County. So super simple. Um, I'm very excited to do the next check it out with you. I hope you all come in. If you don't have a library card, come in and get one. There's just so many unlimited resources that we have. It's not just books. And I will see you next week on Check It Out. Bye. Have a great day.